there's five distinct stages that every single cleaning business will go through uh, on their journey towards an automated turnkey, profitable, fully systemized, hands-off business. And it always starts with stage one. Now, stage one, I put truck. Maybe you drive cars, you don't have a truck, but it's the same thing. You're a stage one business if you're the person doing the cleaning. If you're the one scrubbing the thing, if the mop is in your hand, you are stage one. And that's amazing. That's where we all start. Your job when you're in stage one is to understand what systems you need to get to stage two, where most of your time is spent doing administrative tasks. So you have some cleaning crews or you have some cleaners out there working and maybe you're cleaning sometime, but if you're stage two, more than 50% of your time is gonna be spent answering the phone, running estimates, doing paperwork and payroll and dealing with upset clients and going to the bank and doing things like that, that would be stage two. So if if your vehicle is full of sticky notes and clipboards and you're driving all over the place and coordinating things, there's a good chance you're in stage two. To graduate to stage three, you need another layer of systemization in your company. There's benchmarks you need to hit. And this document, I'll tell you how to get it in a second for free, uh, kind of lays out all the different types of systems you need. It's like a roadmap to get you where you want to go. So if you are in stage three, what that looks like is more than 50% of your time is spent directly doing sales, driving business into your company. Or as I like to call it, you're feeding the beast. You know, after you get a bunch of employees, maybe you have five or 10 cleaners and you have an office person, maybe even a couple people in the office, what happens is there's a lot of mouths to feed and your job in stage three is to feed the beast to make sure that you're always at capacity with your revenue goals and that your sales are on track. You're building relationships, you're networking, you're doing direct sales, you're shaking hands and kissing babies, you're doing estimates, you're doing all this stuff to feed the beast. <laughs> and give me an amen like if that makes sense for you. I don't know if there's like a comment thing on here or not, but um, if you can relate to any of these first three stages, let me know, because I've been through all of them. To get from stage three to stage four requires a whole no additional set of systems of a little bit of complexity. And this is where you're the general manager. Now for a service company like a maid service, what this would look like is you are kind of the captain of the ship but you're not the one pulling the ropes and lifting the sails and like cleaning the decks and doing all that. What you're doing is you have a sales team. You have an admin or office team, and then you have your field service workers or your cleaners as a different team. You might even have like an operations manager and you have a little bit of middle management and you have people doing the sales and they're held accountable to targets. You have the office like maximizing their production and, and doing customer satisfaction and keeping all the books correct and doing all the office-y things and then you have your cleaners doing that, you're kind of stepped back, zoomed out a little bit, and you can hop in wherever you're needed to help fix something or to coach someone through something, but you're a little bit more hands-off. Now, the real uh, magic happens when you can get to stage five. Stage five is when you can hire uh, a general manager to run your company. Now, your business needs to be at a particular size to kind of feed all the mouths involved and having a, a business large enough to do this but it's not as hard as you might think. You can get there a lot quicker, especially today than ever before in history, than most of you might think. Some of you have had companies for 10 or 20 years and they're still really small and you're a stage one or stage two business. But I'm telling you, if you can get obsessed with this idea of systems, if you can get obsessed with understanding your numbers and putting a few things in place, uh, it can happen really quick. It can happen really quick.